B for Bakano. So at first I was a bit confused, like the first episode starts with two characters that show up for one episode and then one more time at the very, very end of the ser anime series. But it mainly focuses on a very large cast of characters between the times of 1930 and 1932. So while the first episode was kind of slow, the second one was slow as well, but it also had a lot of build up. And the third episode is where it really took off. That's pretty fair though, because the first episode of pretty much every single anime is just the setup. Even the first season of an anime like My Hero Academia as a setup for the rest of the anime and if you don't really have that base and you try to continue an anime with no context whatsoever then it won't really get a high rating to be honest there's a lot of mystery aspects behind it as well and there's multiple different mysteries that are eventually solved and talked about like for example who the rail tracer is on the train in 1931 which is focused on a lot, especially in the intro as well. As well as why some people don't die when they got shot like by a Tommy gun. Yeah, it's a bit confusing, especially when it keeps jumping back between, you know, 1930, then 1932, then 1931. But the way it all connects is just perfect. It's basically four different timelines being shown at the same time without a single main character, but like an ensemble of the characters from four to six. Now, since it's in America and it's in the 1930s, I wouldn't recommend this for anybody under the age of 18. Because it gets very, very gory. There's a lot of death. That's all I'm going to say. Especially because it kind of deals with immortality as well. That's kind of like a big plot point in the show. Why? and how there is immortality in this universe. What I'm trying to say is that it's very story oriented, but the animation is also really, really good for its time. Coming out when I was around three years old in 2007, it's still ranked number 368 on Anime Planet, which is pretty impressive to be honest, because there's a lot of good anime coming out that's rated like 4.6, 4.7 stars, and the amount of really good anime is still growing today. And the characters make it even more popular with characters like Miria and Isaac and Jacuzzi with their gang, Lad, the freaking gang of white suit killers, Fido and Maiza the Mute Girl, the Gondor family. What I'm trying to say is there are a lot of characters that you can come to like. My favorite characters seem to be Fido and Isaac and Miria, but they seem to be the main characters that they were pushing for, to be honest. Now, if you guys like the characters from Durarara, I don't know how to really pronounce it, but from that show, then you'll probably like the characters and story in this show because it's the same authors. Also, it's kind of set in the same universe, you know? When talking about the sound, I have a lot of things to say. First of all, yet again, the opening's a banger. I know I didn't really say that for the Akaki one, but that one is really good too. But this one is really good, especially if you love jazz, as well as the 20s to 30s jazz that is especially apparent throughout the entire series. It just makes it look and sound really cool. Oh yeah, some really good voice actors like freaking Dio from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure was in it too, playing Luck. Also Isaac voicing Vash from Trigun Stampede, as well as the voice actor for Jacuzzi being the voice actor for Ace from One Piece. I didn't really notice, but I haven't seen One Piece either, so yeah, that's cool. And I'm just gonna talk about one more, Shizuka Ito that voices Akino, Yerna Yelkovich, and Hildegard. That's quite a lot of people that I know. Also Sogo from Gintama, but I haven't really seen the rest of Gintama yet. You get the whole deal, Pulp Fiction, Train, Run Mystery, Immortality, yada yada, a bunch of other stuff. I recommend watching it if you like seeing an anime in general. I give this anime a four star stars slash 8 out of 10 and I give the same thing to its specials which kind of continue it. Anyways guys if you guys like this short form type of videos then make sure to like and subscribe for more of it. Also I'm trying to think of some more video game videos I can do because I don't really just want to do all anime challenge anime challenge one after another. Also if you guys don't really like the editing for the Akagi video then I kind of understand I'm experimenting a little bit. I'm gonna keep trying to make videos myself but i'm also going to try to hire people on fiverr to help me to see if that's a better solution so yeah guys like and subscribe for more content my name is cherry zero and i will see you guys next time <laughs>